are, you know, independently wealthy. Don't, yeah. re don't require it. Some of us. Yes. <laughs> some of us. <laughs> Not yet, but we will be once we get once some we, sponsors right. oh, for yeah, our... Yeah. We, should re we should have made an appeal to our listeners. We should have. But yeah. we won't, folks, because that would be crass. I guess. Yeah. I guess. It, it would be, yeah, it would be. Any kind of begging for money is... It, 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 we'd end up looking like public television. Oh, yeah. And we don't have any English stuff to sell anybody. Well, we could get some yeah. if we get enough money. Okay. Anyway, um, we did, you know, the election's getting closer. We had our election program already. And today is actually the last day of uh, October 2016. Yes. It's Halloween, you know. Yes, it is Halloween, although they had Halloween here on Saturday, but... Yeah, I was uh, I was sick on Saturday, and I oh, went eager watching on Sunday. That's good. So I'm do celebrating Halloween today, and I, I on the actual day on the actual day, and I I've, I've dressed in uh, like Orson Welles. You see how how I, much like he I am? Extre extremely much like Orson Welles. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel the space allotted to me. So, Orson Welles Jr. Uh, yes, and I'm about as successful as, as he was. He was uh, always begging for money, trying to get his movies finished. All right. So, and I, I thought we should have a ghost story today. I don't have any ghost stories. Well, I will tell you one, and this actually occurred. This is not made up. It happened to me. Okay. All right. So, uh, my wife and I wanted to visit Nova Scotia. And we came to a little town called Bedeck. Turned out that I've been there. Have you been to Bedeck? I've been to Bedeck. I think there's one restaurant in there. There was back in '76 that had no uh, doorknob on the door, but I could be mi mixing that up with another town. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. it's a lovely place. It's, uh, there's uh, there's a canal or a, a bay, and uh, and uh, Alexander Graham Bell lived there. So there's a little museum to him. Yep. And uh, and they did some work with, um, who was that on Cuca Lake, the uh, uh, flyer? Um, Frank Lloyd Wright. Not Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> Wilbur? Yeah, it was the Wright. I think it was the Wright Brothers. Uh -huh. I'm not, no, wait a minute. Anyway, let's let's. We'll, let have, to Google, go. we'll have to Google that when yeah, the show is done. I think so. So we found a place, a bed and breakfast, a lovely house, early 19th century, owned by a sea captain named Duffus, or as my father would say, a Doofus. But uh, okay. it was the Duffus house, and it was and it was run by a, a man and his wife, the Langleys, and they were actually uh, related. He was related to the Langley, from whom we get Langley Field, and uh, the Langley where the CIA has their main office. So okay. he's related to that family. Right. And they bought this bed and breakfast, and they set it up. And it was a lovely early 19th century house. So uh, we go to bed in a little room. There's no bathroom in the room. The bathroom's down the hallway, but there aren't that many people. And uh, it's, it's lovely. We turn off the light, and we go to sleep. And it is dark. I, you know the cliche about you can't see your hand in the front of your face? Yeah. Well, there's no outside light, no moon. No cars going by, no street lights, nothing. So there's no light filtering into the room. You cannot see your hand in front of your face. Dark. So I fall asleep, and Wendy's beside me. I fall asleep, and I suddenly wake up. I hear someone's at our door. Quick, quick, quick. It's one of those uh, older latches where you one piece of metal lifts yeah, the latch. Yeah, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can hear it quicking. And I wake up, and I'm startled, and I look, and to my astonishment, I can see a greater blackness opening as my door opens. I can look through the blackness to a greater blackness beyond. Holy smokes. So I'm uh, kind of breathless. I, I don't want to turn on the light. I don't want to wake Wendy. I get up. I stumble up, and I touch. And sure enough, the door is open. I hit the frame of the door. The door is open. I look out into the hallway, useless because it's dark out there. You can't see anything, so I see nothing. Uh, I close the door and I latch it. I said, I know I threw the bolt. I know I threw the bolt before. How did they move this bolt? But I may have forgotten, so I convinced myself I'd forgotten. I latch it and I go back to bed, being careful not to wake Wendy. And um, soon I hear 
click, 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 click. Somebody's at the door again. Hmm. I get up as carefully as I can. I walk to the door and I open the door. Nothing. No one. I look down the hallway. Nothing. I put, put the door closed, throw the bolt, get back into bed. A few minutes later, quick, quick, quick. Oh, this quick, is quick, quick, quick. Well, I, I'm hmm. now not just scared, I'm angry. I mean, somebody or something's trying to get into this room and uh, they can yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, I rush to the door and I'm, I don't know what to expect. I open it and there's Wendy standing there. Holy smokes. <laughs> It's Wendy, and she can't figure out what has been happening to her, because here's her. Here's how this this, this ghost story looked to her. Mm -hmm. She gets out of bed, not wanting to wake me up. It's very careful, very gentle. It's so dark I don't see her. She goes to the door, opens the door. All I can see is blackness. I didn't see her. Right. She leaves. She goes to the bathroom. I close the door and lock it. She comes back, tries to get into the room. Door's locked. Hold. Oh, she can't. She can't. She oh, can't so get in the room. What's she going to do? She can't just want to. She's so gentle and doesn't want to cause any trouble. So she doesn't want to wake anybody up. Doesn't knock on the door. She goes downstairs. So when I open the door, I see nothing. I look down. Right. She's she's already downstairs to sleep on the couch. So she gets down there. Doesn't find the couch at all comfortable. She comes back. Knock. I mean, tries to open the door one last time. And that's when I open it, ready to fight. <laughs> and it's her, and it's her, and so that's our our uh, ghost story for for our Halloween. I know it's a big disappointment, and no, uh, it's not because you've got me wondering now. First of all, you're the one that got up, trying not to wake up Wendy, and went to the door. But at the same time, she's the one that woke up, trying not to wake you up. Now, when she recounts this story. Does she see blackness, blackness, blackness <laughs> until the very end where she sees you? Yeah, that's it. There's Holy crow. Couldn't, we couldn't see anything. We were. I wish we had had an infrared video of this because we were We were both doing this the whole time, <laughs> you know, trying not to bump into anything or uh, it was uh, it was dark within dark. Oh, that's and, crazy. Uh, so that was that was the ghost of the Duffus house. Well, what's even crazier is why you would go to the Duffus hotel <laughs> you know i wouldn't go to the bates hotel no, no never i would if, if it was the most luxurious hotel in mansfield called the bates motel i would say no i, I guess not well the, on the brighter side of the story mrs uh, langley made the most lovely oat cakes a, a recipe of which we still have and it wendy makes the best oat cakes now because of mrs langley's Okay, and Mrs. Langley and Mr. Langley were very beautiful and fine and gracious hosts. So I want to send a hello out to them. So it's okay for folks to go and stay at that. Yeah, the breakfast. ghost is gone. Uh, in Bedeck. In Bedeck, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, Canada. Yes, and uh, perhaps in future Halloweens, if we keep the show going for the next, many maybe years, we'll have a real ghost story. <laughs> We, two other events, two other supernatural, preternatural events, I should say, occurred on that trip. It, oh. it was probably the most uh, loaded, uh, spiritually loaded trip I've ever, I've ever taken. But uh, that, uh, that's for another time. Okay, sounds good. So I guess we're done with the Halloween part. I think so. Uh, right. Unless you want to, uh, do you have a ghost story, or a chicken story? Or? Uh, no, no. All right. Now I should I should come up with one though. Well, so well, what do you think, Edie? It's time for you to go home, Blair. <laughs> it's time oh, for you to go home. Can I finish my coffee? Blair. Oh, please do. Okay. Now I can remember when my mother died. My ex and my father were down. Did she love the rocking chair? She had a rocking chair up in her base, up in her bedroom, and. Um, oh, it's still, it's still doing, it's 